Hey guys, it's Rain. So for this, we're obviously gonna be needing some rice cakes. Now, if you have never eaten them before, they're actually really good, I think. They are like puffed rice. A lot of people say that they don't taste like anything, like eating air. But I don't think so. I think they are really good, actually. They are like eating fluffy rice. I love them for snacks. To make my ghost's face, I'm gonna be using this brown cookie cutter for the mouth. These are its measurements. It's actually a really small one. And for the eyes, I'm gonna be using this piping tip. It's my Wilson 33. And I'm using this as a cookie cutter. I'm using this one because on the top part is almost as wide as the bottom part. So top and bottom are pretty much like the same width. And that is gonna make the cutout process a lot easier rather than using like other like Wilton tips like this one for instance. The top part is a lot smaller making it real hard to cut it. And because these rice cakes are hard and like a lot of rices in there if you cut them wrong they can crumble so i'm just going to be marking with my cookie cutter and then using my knife to just cut a circle inside like this this one is a serrated knife and because of the nature of what i'm working with like these kinds of knives work better with this and i only broke one of this when i was cutting this is because i was being too forceful or just too aggressive and i tried to cut way too fast it didn't work out it broke and the whole thing crumbled so yes yeah, take your time with the knife be careful and you can tell pretty much when like the whole thing is cut it for the ghost's eyes it's gonna be kind of the same but not really i'm gonna be marking with my piping tip the circle itself pushing this and just cutting through but not all the way in because of the shape of my cut cutter it's more so that i can have like the shape and then going with my knife around my trace and then just cut it i went back with my cutter or just with my piping tip and remove that i'm gonna be using some chocolate hershey's chocolate chips i just melted them and kind of tempered them and i'm going with my spoon and this is pretty much up to you on how much chocolate you add per ghost sandwich i just added this much so spreading this over the part that doesn't have the cutouts and this is how i spread the chocolate obviously you can do the sandwiches with chocolate peanut butter anything that you like because this have a pretty neutral flavor so they go with a lot of things and then just placing my ghost face on top these are the snacks that i want to share with you they are more on the like healthier side of things i've been having them for breakfast or just with my afternoon coffee they are actually really good. Those flavors really work with each other. They are actually really good to make and I think they look really cute. It's a fun alternative for a Halloween party and I really hope you like them. They are really easy to make and I also want to say happy Halloween to you. I hope you have a fun safe time and if you like this don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Let me know down below and share this. Check out more Halloween treats that I have. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye!